With the rising cost of higher education, is it really worth the investment? At Howard Community College, we offer an affordable education that's a sound investment. Stay tuned as I talk with successful alumni who echo our motto, you can get there from here. Welcome to In Focus. I'm Dr. Kate Hetherington. Joining me is Janine Anderson, CPA and partner with UHY Mid-Atlantic, part of UHY Advisors, one of the largest accounting firms in the United States. Welcome, Janine. Well, thank you for having me. Well, we're so interested to hear your story and uh, have lots of questions for you. So let me start off by asking you about UHY and tell me what you do there. UHY is a financial services firm. Really, you're, you're uh, what you think of as a public accounting firm. Mm -hmm. We provide services and audit, tax, and v various services like that, and also consulting on financial matters. I happen to be part of the Columbia office. We have three partners there. I'm part of the management team. And my personal specialty is audit and tax work for nonprofit organizations. Oh, wonderful. Very responsible um, yeah. job that you have and uh, yeah. serving as a partner. That's quite a responsibility. Uh, you also serve on many boards in the community. Can you tell me about those? Yes. Um, going back, way, way back, uh, I served for quite a while on the Jim Rouse Entrepreneurial Fund. Mm -hmm. that, that is a fund where bank funds um, help uh, finance businesses that could not get funding right. otherwise. I served for quite a while with the Advisory Board for Family and Children's Services mm -hmm. in Howard County. And most recently, I was on the board and treasurer of Grassroot grassroots mm -hmm. um, crisis intervention right. center. Uh, now I'm serving, I've scaled back a little, I'm serving on the audit committee for the Howard County Arts Council. Oh, all great organizations yeah. that, that yeah. do so much for our community. Now, um, of course your accounting skills come into play in serving on these community boards. Can you tell me how you got involved in accounting in the first place? Well, I was a career changer mm -hmm. and I started out getting my degrees, a bachelor's, master's, and even four years in a PhD program in economics. I went on and worked for General Electric for a number of years as an economist. I was commuting to DC from what, from Columbia. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, actually GE was getting rid of our division. And I thought, I really like working with numbers. And I bet there are a lot more jobs for accountants in Columbia than economists. Mm -hmm. I don't like that commute. So I needed to find a place to get the credits I needed to get my CPA. So you, you needed to find a place and that the first place you thought of was Howard Community College? Or? Well, <laughs> there were a lot of advantages mm -hmm. to coming here. It was very affordable. Mm -hmm. the t all of the courses were offered. So I had everything I needed to sit for the CPA exam, and it was convenient to attend. At the time, I had small children, mm -hmm. and um, I needed to wait until my husband got home from work mm -hmm. to stay with the kids. And so uh, it was great. I came here at night. Did you find students that were similar to you, evening students? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. It seemed that there were more career changers in mm -hmm. my classes mm -hmm. than beginning students. Yeah, and that's often yeah. the case here at the college. Mm -hmm. uh, we have career changers. Many of them have their master's, bachelor's, PhDs, mm -hmm. and they're coming for something mm -hmm. new. Were you recruited for a position in accounting right out of HCC, or how did that work? Well, I, as I said, I took the CPA exam, right. but at the same time, my teachers at HCC had been from industry and also from uh, higher ed from mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. And I had never met anyone in public accounting, and that's mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. part of the, you know, uh, that's the other thing that CPAs do. So I had a friend who was always talking about, they had some tax issues, taking her things to her accountant, and I said, could I, do you think your accountant would talk to me? And uh, so she gave me his name, 
I called, told him who I was, and it happened to be Jim Peacock, oh. who's my current partner. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, Jim was very generous with his time. He told me all about public accounting, and so we parted ways at that time. I said, well, I'll t let you know how I do on the CPA exam. A couple months later, in those days, it took a while to get the results. Mm. I found out I had passed the mm -hmm. whole thing oh, first time. Mm -hmm. Yay, HCC. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he said, well, come in for an interview. And mm -hmm. so that was 1986. And wow. And you know, we, that, that says something, yeah. too, not only about all the skills that you have, <clears throat> but also the value of those um, informational interviews where you're just mm -hmm. trying to find out about a career and see if it's a good match um, or just learn more about it and, and think about it. So. Um, very important yeah. thing that we often tell students to think about why they're here, you know, kind of test the waters and talk to people yeah. who are in, in the field. Um, what was your experience at Howard Community College? I discovered that <laughs> people going back to school after having been in the workplace are very competitive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing in your field though, right? <laughs> yes. Very mm. competitive, mm -hmm. um, very, I think, at least in my own case, I was a little relaxed as an undergrad. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was the same way that a lot of my classmates were. We, yeah. were, we were really driven mm -hmm. to get the most we could out of uh, the education. Mm -hmm did all the homework then that maybe I didn't do right. as an undergrad. So, mm -hmm. And so it was pretty challenging, mm -hmm. really. Well, I'm yeah. sure the professor must have loved teaching that class because there's nothing better than to have students who are really focused and yeah. uh, really want to do the best yeah. that they can. Um, one of the things that we um, were always interested in is the experience beyond the classroom. Now, you were um, a, a young mother with children and yeah. um, so for you, you're probably focused more on what was happening in class and then what was going to happen afterwards. Correct. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. correct. I would do my homework, you know, during nap times mm -hmm. and go to class at night. Mm -hmm. And there really, I, there wasn't much interaction right. on the campus. And mm -hmm. actually, the campus was much smaller, oh, I bet. Yeah. less mm -hmm. places to interact. Yeah, but, yeah. Things uh, certainly have changed yes. over the years, haven't they? <laughs> Um, so uh, Jim Peacock, you, he hired you right away, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so then that became the beginning of a wonderful relationship, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. So tell us a little yes. bit about that. Mm -hmm. Well, I started out as a staff accountant mm -hmm. at a at a advanced age, and uh, I was with the firm we were with then. It's a Baltimore firm. Uh, we then, in 1998, we pulled out of that firm and mm -hmm. formed our own firm, Peacock, Condren, Anderson and Company. And so I became a partner at that time. I, that was 1998. And then in 2007, we um, merged into this much larger company mm -hmm. where we are the Howard County office of that company. Mm -hmm. But throughout, I think my experiences with the company as we've been is, you know, a lot of opportunity. We're relative, the culture is small, but we have a lot of high quality work that mm -hmm. we can do. So it's a good experience for people coming into the firm to work on a lot of different things from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. An alternative to a big four where you would have such large clients that mm -hmm. you might audit cash mm -hmm. for weeks at a time. Well, at our in our firm, you can be with a big firm, have the um, good resources of a large firm, but be able to touch and work with clients mm -hmm. very quickly. You'll, you'll be having that client contact. Yes, and that's yeah. probably uh, one of the true measures of the your success that you keep yeah. growing, but keep retaining yeah. clients over the years. Well, that's great. Uh, would you recommend Howard Community College to folks who may be considering a career change? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I've mm -hmm. been following um, all of the things that have been going on here in the sciences mm -hmm. and health. And, and I just say it worked for me beautifully. Mm -hmm. And I think it's 
the way that the world is now, I, it just makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, if if I had more children mm -hmm. <laughs> growing up now, mm -hmm. if I were advising a young person, I would say this is a really good place to consider. And for all those career changers out there, you know, if anyone wants to be a CPA, please go to Howard Community mm -hmm. College and then come see me. <laughs> Well, you're a great recruiter yeah. for us. <laughs> well, and a great success story. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really do wish you continued success. I'm glad to hear that HCC was a part of that. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Coming up next, we'll meet a graduate of the RAS Scholars Program who's bringing software engineering to a whole new level. Learning at Home. Learning in the classroom. Learning for success. For learning that works for you, choose Howard Community College. To find courses and programs that fit your schedule and learning style, visit hcclearningworks.com. You can get there from here. Joining me is Marcus Bryant, a computer software engineer at Clarity Business Solutions. Welcome, Marcus, and thanks so much for being here today. It's great to be here. Well, we want to hear all about you and your connection with HEC, but let's first start off with what your current job is. Uh, so right now I'm working for Clarity Business Solutions, and we're an engineering company, and we build software solutions for the United States government. And I'm a software engineer, so I, I write programs and build web pages, and basically build systems that help the government take a lot of data and make sense of it, visualize the information so that, so that people can make important decisions about what to do with, with the information. How did you get interested in uh, computer engineering? I mean, and when did you get interested in that? I had a really, really early start. It mm -hmm. was back in elementary school, I think second grade. The teacher took the class into the computer lab and we were, on a, we were on a system called an Apple II. Oh, yeah. It's an old computer. I remember that. <laughs> and we were putting this big five and a half, uh, five and a quarter size floppy disk into the machine. <laughs> yeah. It's a long time ago. Yeah. We were using a program called Logo, which was basically like a, a maze. Mm -hmm. And you had a turtle that you had to navigate through the maze, and you would program different instructions about which way to turn and how many steps to take in order to get the turtle out of the maze. Mm -hmm. And I was just fascinated with that. I, I think I stayed in the lab well after the class was over, just completely completely thrilled with, mm -hmm. with being able to program instructions. And that's mm -hmm. kind of where it all started. Oh, yeah. wow, great beginning and great instructor that you had that inspired you. Yeah. yeah. You never know what's going to click with a student. And obviously, that was a, a good connection for you. So. Um, so you had that kind of background, and then you knew that you wanted to go to college. So how did you learn about Howard Community College? Uh, so I was in, I think, my junior year of high school, mm -hmm. um, and I was speaking with my gu guidance counselor to kind of survey some of the different options. Mm -hmm. And she's actually the one who, who told me about the Ralph Scholars program at, at uh, HCC mm -hmm. and said that this was something that could be a good fit for me. And uh, after that, I came to the Howard Community College. They had a... Uh, an information session mm -hmm. with uh, the different people in the uh, Ralph Scholars program telling, telling the parents and students about the program. Okay. And that's how I found out about it. Yeah. Now I know about the Ralph Scholars program, but I'm sure our audience would love to hear about it. So um, tell us a little bit about the Ralph Scholars program. Well, to me, it's an awesome program because you have a lot of great faculty here that are giving, that, that, are, that are teaching really cool classes mm -hmm. of a variety of different subjects. And then you also have these bright students coming from all the different mm -hmm. uh, high schools in the area and they get all the they get the students together and we do not only things in the school but we do like extracurricular activities outside of school mm -hmm. like um, for example we we went to a, an old folks home and helped entertain the people there and we did different community service activities mm -hmm. around the community so it, it sort of helped forge a, a, a friendship amongst among all the amongst all the, schol the scholars in the mm -hmm. program. Yeah. And you're and you're very mo modest. It's a it's an honors program. It's a very select program, and uh, we have a lot of people applying for the program. It's a very limited number of students who get admitted. So um, you were you were one of the uh, the best and the brightest in that year, and you were selected for that. So good for you. Yeah, it's great. Uh, now, did you apply to other schools besides HCC? Yeah, I applied to uh, let's see, UMBC, mm -hmm. um, College Park, Virginia Tech, 
and uh, obviously Howard Community College, and mm -hmm. I was accepted to all those schools. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what what triggered that I'm going to go to HCC? What convinced you to pick HCC? Yeah, it, it was a hard decision. It's mm -hmm. always hard at that time right. in your life with mm -hmm. your whole future ahead of you. Yeah. And I I was looking at the situation from the perspective that I didn't have a lot of money saved up. Mm -hmm. And Howard Community College and the Rouse College program was going to be a lot more affordable, mm -hmm. you know, for me and my family. Right. And then the other reason was I always felt like I hadn't really achieved Got got the marks that mm -hmm. I that I that I thought I could. Right. I think a lot of a lot of students find that they do really well early on in high school, maybe mm -hmm. their first and second year, and then after that the grades kind of drop. Mm -hmm. That does happen. Because yeah. if we were to graph my grades, it would be pretty much a line that started up pretty high and uh -huh. then slowly diminished over yeah. time. Well, there's a lot of distractions too. There, there <laughs> are. There are. Growing up is very hard. Yeah. And so I, I thought about it as an opportunity to say, hey, if I just apply myself, then I can really prove that that I was capable of getting much better marks mm -hmm. than, than I had demonstrated previously. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was an opportunity to, to, uh, to turn things around. And you were you know, proving something to yourself too. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. So um, what are some of the additional benefits of coming to HCC? You talked about the quality programming and uh, affordability. Anything else that you'd like to add? Well, the, the, the teachers, the faculty here, are, are the teachers are excellent. Mm -hmm. And the people that teach here, I can tell they really care about what they're teaching, mm -hmm. and they also care about the students and the community. Right. And I just think having that positive energy really mm -hmm. makes a big difference. And the other thing I, I, I found out that I didn't really necessarily anticipate or appreciate so much while I was here, mm -hmm. but after going to a four-year university, I realized that the small class sizes mm -hmm. here at uh, HCC really help out because you have a lot more interaction with the, with the uh, professor, right. and you can also interact with the students in the class mm -hmm. and sort of get that synergy of of, of, of energy and, and brainstorming going on mm -hmm. where it kind of takes the, the class to the next level right? Yeah. and makes everything more, more real, more lively. Mm -hmm. You're challenging each other in that kind of environment. Yeah, big classroom, you sometimes can get lost in that and kind yeah. of sit in the back and hope no one calls on you, but a small classroom with a um, really uh, creative faculty member, uh, it's just a whole different experience. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So how did HCC prepare you to continue your education? Well, it was great. I had a lot of support here um, mm -hmm. through the faculty and also through the administration as far as making sure that um, I was applying to different schools and, mm -hmm. and seeking different programs that would be applicable to my interests. Right. Um, I, um, I ended up applying to Georgia Tech, uh, College Park, UMBC, and Johns Hopkins University, and I was accepted to all schools. Wow. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> um, also, I was given scholarships. Uh, at College Park, I was given a full, full scholarship. Uh, at UMBC, I was offered a full scholarship in the Meyerhoff program. Mm, great program. And that was actually a program I had, to, I had applied to out of high school, and I was, I was denied mm -hmm. the scholarship. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was, I was offered acceptance into Georgia Tech and, and, um, and, uh, and Johns Hopkins mm. University. Mm -hmm. And Johns Hopkins actually were was providing me with about 50% tuition support. Mm -hmm. So a lot of, a lot of uh, financial help was coming out of the, uh, right. the process also. So that says something certainly about you and your skills, but also something about having a degree from Howard Community College, that it really established that pathway for you to go on to other schools and um, transfer credits um, to your next school. Yeah, that's exactly right. But you selected Hopkins, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, why did you select Hopkins? Well, I, uh, it was another hard decision because mm -hmm. here we are still, still young in, in yeah. our life with our future ahead of mm -hmm. us. And um, I was really balancing uh, a couple of issues. One, one thing was I, I wanted to, to go to a, a good school with a good reputation, mm -hmm. and Johns Hopkins has a pretty good reputation. Also, it was close to home because right. um, my family's here in Columbia. Mm -hmm. and. And it was sort of difficult because College Park was offering a full scholarship right. and that was also close to home. So that was the tricky part for mm -hmm. me. But, um, but I, I, I went with Johns Hopkins and I think it was a, a good decision mm -hmm. for me in the long run. After getting my bachelor's degree, I, I, sort, of, um, I, I sort of went, went ahead and, and stayed for, for graduate school, mm -hmm. kind of by accident, mm -hmm. right? Because you know, at that point in life, you're, you're finishing up with school and you're, you're, you're eager to go out into the workforce. And, um, and I had, I had found out that I was missing one, 
one credit mm -hmm. for like a, a chemistry lab that sort of slipped through the cracks. Yeah. And I needed to complete that class before I could get my, uh, my bachelor's degree. Uh, so I go to register for the class. It's still early in the semester. But unfortunately, that chemistry lab isn't offered that semester. It's oh. not offered until the very next semester. Mm -hmm. And that completely throws off my whole plans of graduating for, the, for that, that, in, in that semester, in that right. year. Mm -hmm. So I decided, let me uh, let go ahead and take the class next semester, um, which is going to push my graduation date to the next year. And while I'm, while I'm here, while I'm taking that one class, why not just start taking graduate classes? Ah, hmm. Because what's the point of going to the right. school for one class? Mm -hmm. So I started taking all my graduate computer science classes that semester and then continued for another, another year mm -hmm. and then went on to get the, uh, the graduate degree. The so bachelor's and master's from Hopkins. Yes, master's degree, yeah. And yeah. a degree from HCC. Yes. Very yes. impressive credentials. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. So would you recommend HCC to a prospective student? Yes, mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend HCC. I think it's a very smart decision, smart route mm -hmm. to take, and especially in this day and age with uh, college expense, expenses rising mm -hmm. I mean, so drastically. Right. Because I was, I was here in 2001, mm -hmm. 2003, and I know that the tuition, tuition has been rising mm -hmm. uh, since then. So I think it even, even more so in this time, time and day, right. it, makes, it, makes a, it makes it a smart decision. Mm -hmm. um, and then also because of the great faculty, the Ralph Scholars Program, you have a great community of people here at the school, so I would mm -hmm. definitely re recommend it to all the youngsters that are deciding on their next step. So you think investing in a college education changed your life and it's good value? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I know some people kind of debate between uh, should they possibly go straight into the workforce mm -hmm. out of high school or should they go to college? Right. And for me, going to college was, was important because the, it's really the experience you get right. that gives you uh, sense of confidence about what you're doing and it also gives you a well-rounded um, it, it, it rounds your capabilities pretty mm -hmm. well um, for me I'm in computer science so we do a lot of math and we do a lot of engineering and a lot with computers but it, it turns out that the communication the writing mm -hmm. the research and the, uh, the ability to speak clearly all really come together when when you're when you're doing your job when you're in your career and you're at that higher level, all those facets of, of your, of your skill set need to come together to mm -hmm. be effective. And that's what the college experience has given me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's a great story. And I do appreciate you coming in today and sharing your story with me and all the folks that are listening. So thank you so much. It's been great. Thank you. Well, that wraps up this edition of In Focus. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I was kind of intimidated at first. But to my surprise, I, I found a group of people. People who are passionate about learning and doing well. And it's been awesome. So I was kind of lost of what to do, where to go, how to pursue my path and career. So I heard about the Rouse program and I was thinking, you know, it's just a program for a whole bunch of smart students and you have to do this and it's very like structured and all. But once I got into the program, it turned out to be really good. Well, going to a two-year institution is really a great idea because it helps you with those core courses that you have to take anywhere. And then Rouse provides a little extra because it gives you a little bit more challenging courses when you have the honors courses. And then it provides that one-on-one -on -one with instructors as well as advisors that really help make sure you transfer where you want to transfer. So I definitely recommend it for that. Especially during the first year, they really focus on where you want to go and also what you want to pursue and then you figure out career-wise, so in the spring, you're able to get a mentorship. Yeah, I went to uh, Howard County General. 
um, and I shadowed a physician assistant. And I came in a little undecided, knowing I wanted to help people. I thought about nursing. Then I said, you know what? I, I think I can do, I can do doctor. That, that just, it felt good saying it. I was expecting, honestly, I was expecting tons of Einsteins. But I was like, wait, everyone else is kind of like me. It makes you bond. Like I said, you start school, you, you have a huge group of friends, but that, like, you think 50 p kids is not a lot, but then you see them everywhere. You see them in the library, and, and because we have Rouse classes that are specific for Rouse students, you already get into classes with kids you know. So it, you're always, you always have friends. I mean, you can't be a loner in Rouse, you know? It, it, it's awesome. And uh, we do all these cool stuff, like go on this retreat, and uh, Broadway, I went zip lining, people went paintballing, some people went out to go play field sports. Um, there was a really epic game of water basketball that I participated in, it was, it was awesome. To be honest, no, I thought it was gonna be a very academic driven honors program. I was kind of intimidated at first about it, but it doesn't just go by getting the good grade. It's also being involved with your community and it helped me realize that there is more than just getting a job out of college. It's an opportunity to extend a helping hand to the community. I did study abroad this summer and I went to Turkey for two and a half weeks. It was really cool to see the culture shock. It was kind of cool to see um, my fellow classmates and how they reacted to a lot of the culture there that I'm already used to, but they weren't. So it was kind of cool to see their reaction compared to America. And that also really helped me grow as a person as well. I mean, it's definitely a life-changing experience. Something as simple as sitting in a pub or riding in a taxi with somebody really could change a perspective that you have on the world or on your own national politics. With Rouse, I was surrounded by people of different faiths, people of different backgrounds, and different um, beliefs. I never would have guessed that different cultures were that diverse for myself, and you have to really get in there to really realize it. I just want to say that I already think that Rouse is a great program. Definitely exceeded my expectations. Everyone's been having so much fun. The connection that I was able to keep with my professors and my fellow students, even after I left Howard Community College, has really been valuable to me, and the Rouse staff has really been there for us. The opportunities that they offer you, the platform that they put you on, for you to then reach the rest of your life goals is second to none. I would suggest if you're thinking about joining Rouse, I would say that if you're doubting yourself at all as an individual or intellectually, career-wise, if you're just a little lost, but you have that passion for learning or you want that passion for learning, Rouse would be the perfect program to join.